last video, we walked through how to create your first Rails application using Nitrous and the Ruby on Rails framework. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to start using uh, Git for source version management control. And so we're going to create a Git repository and store our code there. And in each episode, we're going to save the code that we create into the Git repository so we can track it and we can fall back if we make any mistakes, anything like that. So the first thing we're going to do is come back to Nitrous. If you're following right after the last video, you'll already have this open. If not, uh, you can click the IDE button or if it's completely shut down, you can click to start the server. So we're going to click IDE and it's going to connect for us. And while that is connecting, uh, and it's actually already live, but before we even do anything, uh, let's go to GitHub. So just go to github.com and I'm already signed in to my profile, but if you uh, do not have a GitHub profile, uh, it would your page is going to look something like this. And so if that's the case, just pick a username, your email password, sign up for GitHub. It's free as long as you're using uh, open source software. And uh, so it's a great tool to use. We're going to use it in literally every single video we have. So once you have your account, uh, simply click on this plus button up in the top right hand corner. And we're going to want to create a new repository. And you're going to see a screen that looks like this. And call yours, whatever your name is called. We're going to call ours Enterprise Ape. And we want it to be public. And do not click to initialize this repository with a readme. Uh, you could, if you do that, you're going to have to pull it down before you create it. And so it's just a step that I don't want to do in this video. So just don't put a readme. We can add one of those later. And simply click Create Repository and we have one built. So this one's ready for us and it's ready for us to push our code into. So now it's time to switch back and let's change into the enterprise ape directory. So we're going to go cd and now we're inside of the correct directory and now we want to uh, create the repository. And to do that you just type in git init and it says it initialized an empty git repository. So that's what we want. And now type in git add and then just hit the plus button. And actually before you do that, uh, I want to show you one thing that we'll use a lot here. And it's called git status. And that's going to show us what the status is of the current git repository. So I'm going to give us a little bit more room so we can see it. And do git status. And as you can see right here, these what Git does is it tracks all of our files. And so what it's telling us is these files are not tracked yet in these directories. So because we haven't added anything to the repository, it means 100% isn't there. So let's do git add, and we're going to add all. So it's added each one of those items. Now if we do git status, you can see that we have a whole different kind of uh, list and these are ones that are now waiting to be committed. So the next command to give it is git commit do a dash and an M and then uh, put it in quotes because this is a string so you're gonna say this is our fir oh, first commit and once we get further down the line we're gonna add a lot more details in these commits because the way the commit should be, it should tell you within one instant exactly what this change or what this version was all about. So uh, this is our first commit, so that's what we'll type and hit return. And so let's see. Okay, it gave us an error message. Please tell me who you are. Okay, this is a good thing because I'm so used to building things locally. I'm not used to having to actually uh, set this up for a new environment. So let me do that. So you have to first type in git config and type in dash dash global user dot email and type in in these quotes uh, your email address. Let me do my email address. Okay. And now git config dash dash global user dot name double quotes and your name 
Okay, now let's try to do the get commit again. And you don't have to type it from scratch, just hit the up arrow twice, or three times, and uh, then this should work. There we go, so that worked. And now, what we have to do is we have to follow these instructions on the Git page. We have to add the remote. So the reason for this is because we have to tell our, Git repo our local Git repository that it needs to connect to this remote one. And so the way to do that is copy this line. It's going to be unique for everybody. So mine says git remote add origin. That will be the same for you. But then this URL right here is going to be unique. You see it says github slash my username, Jordan Hudgens, and then enterpriseape.git. Uh, yours will have your username slash whatever you named it, your app.git. So we'll come in here and we'll paste this in. Hit return, and then the next one to type in is git push dash u origin master. From now on, we're going to be able to just type in uh, git push master and or git push, and it'll work fine. And so, uh, but for this one, type it or copy and paste or type it in git push slash dash u origin master. And you need to type in whatever your username is for GitHub, and then type in whatever your password is. And also, if you're new to using the terminal, when you're typing in password, a lot of times they don't show you what you're typing, so just make sure you type that right. Hit return, and it copied it all up. Looks like it was successful. So now come back to this Git repository, click on Enterprise Ape, and there you go. See all of our files from our local repository, everything right here is now in this uh, directory, is, is in our repository. So uh, it, that, if, that should have worked for you. If you run into any errors, put them in the comments and I'll help, uh, help you get through them. But uh, what that did is it copied all of our files and you see the uh, comment, that first commit that we gave it. Each one of these is going to be listed here. Now, if you do, uh, when you start to add other commits and you have other versions, Git is really cool because it actually separates it out. So I'll show you one of my other uh, repositories. Uh, let me pick out this one. You'll see how you have a few different kinds of uh, comments. So you have integrated first phase of slider fix, fix to compile bug, you know, things like that mixed in with the first commits. So uh, Git will, and as we go further down the line, you'll be able to see uh, exactly how powerful it is and how you can use it with a lot of different um, types of applications. Um, but for right now, it's going to hold host all of our code. So if something happens to this computer, we now have it on Git, and it's very easy to pull it down and pull it to another computer and use it there. So uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I'll see you next video.